night she looks for love or at least a distraction she moves her hips in the way she thinks she's supposed to wearing perfume and whatever's new in fashion night after night like there's nothing left to do Welcome to the Pop-Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with... Paperback, Paperback Romance. Uh, my name's Josh. I uh, play rhythm guitar. My name's Emil. I play lead guitar. I'm Brittany. I'm on vocals and rhythm guitar. I'm Savannah. I play bass. I'm Sophia. I play drums. Thanks for coming. Paperback Romance. <laughs> kind of a neat name. It makes me think of like a fantasy novel. Uh, some like weird happy ending type thing. I'm not really sure. T- I don't read too much of those. Can you elaborate? Is that close to where you're at? Well, uh, we like to shorten it to PBR, you know, make people think of the drink. I do know nice. that. There you We're go. We're looking for a sponsorship. Yeah. One PBR of these days. Up, please. <laughs> but uh, actually, the name comes from, um, you know, I had this long list of uh, unused band names in my notes over the years, and uh, PBR just seemed like the least stupid one. <laughs> yeah, we, we've debated for like several weeks, maybe a maybe month or months. more, like yeah, trying to figure out a good band name, and um, that was the one we all hated the least. <laughs> so. It rolls off the tongue, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how long have you guys been playing together as a group? Um, I want to say initially it was just me, Brittany, and Josh, and we started, like I want to say, like the summer of 2022. Almost two years? Yeah, almost yeah. two years. I think so. And then yeah. Saf and Savannah joined at the end of that year. Yeah. And then like our first show was like last February. February. Yeah, last yeah. February in 2023, so... Yeah, been playing since then. It, uh, of course, the three guitar players started together. I mean, <laughs> everyone yeah. plays guitar, like so it's real easy. Yeah. It's Somebody like, oh, you play guitar? Me too. Me too. All right, cool. Does anybody <laughs> want to play bass or drums, please? <laughs> <laughs> we kicked all our guitar players out, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when you formed originally with your songwriting process, how does your h- how big is your catalog of music? I saw what you played here today, but I imagine it, it probably started with some of the words and that writing then expanded or what's been the process with that? Um, yeah, I guess like uh, some of it, like one of us will bring um, either part of a song or just the music or like an entire 
fully fledged like lyrics and music um, and then we all work on it together we had a few misses in the beginning when it was the three of us <laughs> yeah. where like we had a good like basic music idea and then we like went the wrong way with it or whatever so it's definitely been a good um, learning experience together kind of like working through how to make a song and um, we've been working on some really good ones I think we get better with each song I appreciate the variety in it too. You had some really heavy rocking ones, kind of reminded me of Queens of the Stone Age a little bit, like very jammy, progressive. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Um, but then there was also some some mellow tracks, and it's cool to see the acoustic guitar with the electric blends really well in the sound. What are some of your um, inspirations? Like, where do you where do you draw from, or where are you trying to go with the music? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. There's a lot of variety yeah. in our tastes, which <laughs> probably kind of create the variety in the types of songs that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know uh, Seth and I are really inspired by My Chemical Romance, oh, yeah. as you can <laughs> tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're wearing your shirt? Oh, no, you're not. Good. <laughs> He's usually yeah. wearing a My Chemical Romance shirt. We, yeah, sometimes we yeah. match. We'll have matching <laughs> MCR shirts, so luckily we didn't do that today. <laughs> yeah, definitely pick up on, like, the punk rock, emo type of vibes. Yeah. But what's cool is it's, is it's um, you do switch it up, though. It's not solely in that one type of thing. It's not just a punk rock song the whole time or um, even sometimes with lyrics it can get overly emotional. So I like that you, you have such a good variety when you make your music. Yeah, for sure. And I'd say like uh, with our earlier material as well, it's like definitely like a more pop sound. Like we have like pianos and like organs in some of the songs. So it's definitely more like lighter than the current stuff we've had, so yeah. So when you guys are in that songwriting process, like, is it one of you that's kind of leading the charge? Do you have music first, or does Brittany come in like, hey, I got this like lyric or hook in my head, I want to like write around this, or do you just you know let the drummer take charge and then you guys kind of fill in the space, or how does that work? It uh, it, it depends. I mean, most of the time, Brittany will have like the skeleton of a song, and then we'll fill it, that skeleton in with um, all the other details. Other times, yes, one of us will have an idea, and then that'll drive. Um, the the song creation around it. Um, for example, when we did a uh, Sierra, it started off with like a riff that Yamil wrote, um, and then everyone else worked on like the story and the, the lyrics, all the other parts. Yeah, we like created an entire like scenario essentially based off of like some of our personal experiences, and then kind of like tried to build off of that story to like what would the specific feelings be. And like when you're writing a song, it's like in my mind, I like to go like, okay, it's technically only like you know, maybe 12 sentences of a story if you, like, break it down into, like, how the verses are structured. And so, like, how are we going to capture, like, an entire um, feeling and emotion into um, a chorus and then, like, just a few sentences? And so um, we kind of work with that. But um, Savannah and I have been doing a lot more writing, like, on the lyrics and stuff because I, um, I can kind of, like, it, it's kind of difficult to just write all by yourself. And so, like, bouncing stuff off, we've been, like, really working together on that. So it's been really fun. Brittany is, like, a songwriting beast and usually <laughs> brings, most of our songs start with Brittany. And she brings often, like, a pretty complete song. And then we all build off of it. But, yeah, sometimes we fidget with lyrics a little bit and, mm -hmm. and work together and change those a little bit, too. But You've got a powerful voice too. Oh, I mean, you really you. built it out there. Uh, before we even get into the editing, I mean, you can hear it sounded really good. Um, when you play your other instruments, I know before you guys just mess around on some of the musical instruments here, and you mentioned in your other songs you had uh, keyboards, and uh, sometimes there's other vocals and stuff. And do you kind of switch things around? Is it always three guitars, or you know, you're obviously just playing for us today? But do you switch things up? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's I initially started off in the band playing keys actually on, on piano and like some of the songs like when I would hear them I'm like this needs like a lead guitar in it versus like piano and stuff so I kind of just picked up the guitar and learned it to play those parts that I was hearing in my head when we were writing the songs um, so that's kind of how I like transitioned to being a lead guitarist but definitely like I think for some of the songs you can definitely add like piano and stuff like for the recorded versions uh, once you know we get around to doing that so yeah Yamil has gone from like like a good guitar player to like an excellent guitar player in only like two years like with his lead and stuff like that and like the writing as well like like it's really difficult to write lead in my opinion and so it's been really cool to like watch him just <laughs> like learn and grow <laughs> not to be too cheesy i'm sorry we, we gotta get saxophone <laughs> in one of our songs one oh of these yeah. days that would be fun yeah that'd be really great. any sax players out there hit us up, <laughs> hit us up. <laughs> no that's cool it's cool that you all kind of work together and nobody's you know, really taking it too far in one direction. You, you go to what the song needs and then make something appropriate to that. So 
they, it comes through in the music. Also, fair to mention, Paperback Romance, you guys are an Orlando-based band. Most of the people that come on through, you know, are from the Tampa Bay area, but we've had some people from Orlando come in. I know you uh, are friends with the guys from uh, Featuring Humans. Yes. Um, recently, we've been, you know, kind of getting a broader reach across straight with different bands. So we appreciate y'all making the trip in. I know it's a bit of a drive. I-4 is never fun. No. So, uh, <laughs> it's like a war on I-4 to get here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no joke, man. Yeah, thank you for having us. And you all seem like you have a lot of fun out in Orlando. A lot of the people that have come have been kind of wacky and out there. And Tampa <laughs> sometimes has got a lot of like heavy metal, like to break and stuff and be loud. So Orlando sounds like a fun place to go see a gig. Um, I'm sure you guys, you know, go out and play. You probably got dates coming up or anything. Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a huge variety of different acts in Orlando. You can find pretty much anything you're looking for. Um, as far as upcoming shows, yeah, we actually have a show on the 30th uh, of May at the Conduit. Uh, definitely be sure to check that out. We have links for those in the, in our uh, in our bio. And you guys can be found online, I assume Instagram, obviously, and um, all that stuff, streaming platforms. Yeah, we're on uh, all the streaming platforms, and then on Instagram, our handle is pbr.fl. They've got some never-before-released uh, tracks they played here today they mentioned. So, yeah, in addition to being on all the Pop them. Off podcast, <laughs> go check them out there. Yeah, appreciate you guys bringing in all new music. That's very cool. You know, if people want, like want to hear your new song, they got to come to us. So we yeah, we appreciate yeah. that. Yes. It helps a lot. <laughs> sure. but check out their old stuff. I mean, they're available to stream online, uh, all platforms. I assume. Yep, yeah. all platforms. Yeah. All right. Well, PBR Paperback Romance. You guys rock. Anything else you want to add in? Last bits of wisdom. Things on your mind. Just a big thank you to the Pop yeah. Off for having us yeah, here. This yeah, was really thank fun. you guys. Thank you, well, thank you for yeah, coming on you. out. We appreciate it. Thanks awesome. again. Support right. live music. See ya. Yeah.